Oh. So much of this music, like, it's been crazy. I've been reading, like, all the DMs on Instagram every night after we play. And this is special because it's the last show of the entire European tour. It's, it's beautiful to spend it in here, yeah, real talk. Like, this is a very special way to end such a beautiful month. But it's been one of my favourite things has been reading all the DMs that we get and people talking so much about the gig making them feel happy. And that is, that's so special because in, in life is so hard and, and for us to be able to play these instruments and people feel happy, it's a real blessing and privilege to be able to have that effect. But I think it's important to understand some context to some of these songs because though they all sound really happy, they weren't all necessarily written at a time of happiness. Do you hear what I'm saying? A lot of these songs are, are what I like to think are kind of like reaction songs because personally, I'm not too into a lot of what's happening, particularly in London and particularly in the UK. I love that place with my whole heart, but I hate what is happening to it because we are being preached a, like a gospel of division every single day. And it's always, it's always about like us versus them, you versus them. But I, I feel like so much more in life is achieved when people are united together. Do you hear what I'm saying? That's why uh, I never used to say it as explicitly as this. I used to be a bit like clever and stuff, but life's too short. That's why I hate Brexit so much because Brexit. Like, If you voted Brexit, that's cool. If you didn't vote for Brexit, that's cool. But sometimes we have to get to a place and be like, you know what, it hasn't worked. Let's just say sorry and fix it. Do you hear what I'm saying? But rather than cry about it and be upset, we kind of try to channel that sadness into something happy. But the thing about that is that is only possible when you have something constant in your soul and that is joy. Do you hear what I'm saying? Happiness is temporary, but joy is consistent. You might not be happy right now, but if you have joy, joy in your soul, whatever's making you sad, you'll get through it. Do you hear what I'm saying? And I always want to give a shout out to everyone that might not have been feeling happy when they woke up, but they thought, you know what, I bought the tickets ages ago, I might as well go and see what's good. I understand how that feels, trust me. I want to say, Thank you so much for trusting us with this moment. I want to say also, we have joy in this room right now, so we're going to get through whatever situations are holding us back. You know what I'm saying? So right now, after that, we're going to make a decision. Whether you're happy or you're not happy, right now, for the next like five, ten minutes, we're going to choose to be joyful in this room. Do you hear what I'm saying, people? Whatever you're going through, whether it's good or whether it's bad, I want us to just channel, channel all of that energy into this next moment. Because we wrote this song for moments like this. This next track is entitled, You Can't Steal My Joy. God bless you all. Thanks.
There's a saying that says, it, it takes a village to raise a child. And, and you don't get to sound as beautiful and as gifted on a trumpet without supportive parents. And I want to big up Ife's dad that's in the room right now. But before we get there, we really do believe in honesty and being truthful when you have a platform like this and a microphone. And I'm going to be really honest with you, when we were deciding we wanted to go on tour and stuff, and we looked at the spreadsheets, we looked at the budgets, it became very aware that it's become financially impossible for bands this size to tour. The reason being, lights that used to cost a thousand pounds now cost five thousand pounds. Petrol that used to be a normal price now is not a normal price. And then now we have.